Okay, so today I'm going to be walking the Cape Serville, except I don't think I quite got to the road end because I did not want to risk driving over this narrow section of road which has obviously collapsed sometime in the past. So I'm not, not shouldn't be too much road though, not a fair way calling me the map. After 35 minutes of walking along a forestry road, I've finally entered the National Park and, and, and am able to get a view of Cape Serville. We have to keep an eye out for these markers. They're very sparse. So at the moment the track is winding its way through waist high fern and I'm really starting to wish they brought gators. After a steep climb, we're now descending again. So I followed this little creek downstream all the way to where it runs out to the cliffs. That is high yellow bluff. It shouldn't be too far according to the map. Looks like a side trip to McGregor's Peak, two hours away. I'll probably give that a miss today. But in better news for me, Cape Serville, 15 minutes away. So this is looking out across towards Deep Glen Bluff. If memory serves me well, that's sandstone on the top, granite from the Devonian period there over there in the middle, and Jurassic Dolerite on the bottom. Quite an impressive geological site. Steep drop off on both sides. Whew. I've arrived at Cape Serville. End of the line. Looks like it might be a bit of rain on the way. 